Welcome to Me Diaries. My name is Chandel and I'm here to share a message of hope. I'm just happy that you're here with me. I hope you're having a great week. I hope you're having a great day. Um, first, before I get started, I would love to introduce to you my love, Neo. Right here is my puppy. Um, his birthday was April 11th and I've had him since he was eight weeks old um, and he's just amazing. I feel um, like He's just a man's best friend. You know how they say that about dogs. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to have him go out while we do the video. I just wanted to introduce him real quick. So I'll be right back. Well, uh, now that Neo's out of the room, I'm just, I'm glad that you guys got to meet him because he's just, he's my little bundle of joy. I love him. I absolutely do. Um, okay. So last week I was like super duper sick. Um, and I'm about 80% better, 85%, um, better, not at a hundred percent, but, um, you know, the message that has, I've been meditating on and thinking about is, um, how much God loves us, how much God loves us, how much God is fighting for us, how much God wants a relationship with us, how much he delights in us. And his love is just bigger than we could comprehend and f even, I think even, even grasp the fullness of God's love. So the scripture that I want to read is, um, is Luke 15, uh, and all the way up to verse seven. So it's, I'm going to read a little bit of a longer one, but it says, tax collectors and other notorious sinners often came to listen to Jesus teach. This made the Pharisees and the teachers of the religious laws complain that he was associating with such despicable people, uh, even eating with them. <clears throat> so Jesus used this to illustrate. If you had 100 sheep and one of them strayed away and was lost in the wilderness, wouldn't you leave the 99 others to go and search for the lost one until you found it? And then you would joyfully carry it home on your shoulders. <clears throat> when you arrive, when you arrive, you would call together your friends and your neighbors to rejoice with you because the lost sheep was found. In the same way, heaven will be happier over one lost sinner who returns to God than over the 99 who are righteous and have straight and haven't strayed away. Um, I thought that was really interesting too because it started off with um how like the pharisees and the religious teachers were like turned off that um you know jesus would even associate with like what they said despicable people well i think back in like my addiction and um you know when i was out like lost in the streets and all of that like i'm i was like one of those despicable people but in my mess, in the deepest part of when I was in the lowest point of my mess, Jesus came and he rescued me, you know, and no matter where you have been at, no matter how far from God you think you have been, it doesn't matter. God loves you. Um, and so we should never let shame or guilt, um, or doubt or fear or any of these things like come between, um, our relationship with God because no matter where you're at, no matter where you stray or you run to or you let shame kind of push you back, it doesn't matter because God loves you. God loves you and he's always by your side. And, um, you know, our shame and our guilt, that is a liar. Our shame wants to make us think like, oh, that we're not worthy of God's love, right? But that's not true. I mean, it doesn't matter what we've done. Like if Jesus was here, he'd be sitting with the sinners, the broken ones, right? Not the ones that think that they've got it together. Not the ones that have walked perfect lives, you know, like, no, he's, he's chasing down the ones that have strayed and the ones that have gotten far away. Um, you know, and just like, you know, I, I was been, I've been blown away about just, I can't even say it in words. I can't even say it in like words to just how grateful I am for God's love. 
it doesn't matter what we've done in our lives. It doesn't matter even if you've messed up yesterday or you know you, your walk with God hasn't been perfect. It's okay, right? It's okay. I think that the most important thing is is where's your trust? Where's your faith? Right? Where's like your willingness and desire to want to change and continue to do your best, you know, put your best foot forward. So I think we're just, um, I think we are more blessed than we could even ever imagine, you know, and in the world circumstances, you know, like I was, um, I was like super stressed out about this thing and I was like stressing out about it and asking God, oh, please, please, I need the answer. I need the answer. And like I was talking to somebody that I know and I realized that God had already given me the answer and God had already given me the answer, but I was too caught up on the stress. I was too caught up on what's going to happen. Is God going to give me this? Is it going to work out? I was so caught up on that that I missed like that God had already given me the answer. I already knew what God wanted me to do. I already had the answer in front of me, but my, my stress and all this stuff really distracted me from what I had already had the answer, you know? So, uh, yeah, but I just, I really love that scripture. I really love it because it does, it, it really sat with me that like, man, that happened in my life where I was the 99, I was that one that strand, strand off. I was the one that was just so lost and broken in this world. And, you know, God chased me down and I, and I surrendered and I'm like, okay, Lord, you know, um, but yeah. So uh, I just, um, I hope you guys have a great week. I think that's all I have for today. Um, I'm going to just continue to rest and try and get a hundred percent. I've been taking a lot of vitamins and stuff just to um, help boost my immune system and all of that because I am still not a hundred percent, but I am feeling better um, but As you can see, I'm all natural today. No makeup really um, But you know, I just I'm pushing through so I just can't wait to get back to normal life, you know but I am grateful that I've been able to um, I've been able to really just focus on this message and just really meditate and just soak in the love that God has for me in ways that I get that is just spending time with God, reading the scripture, spending my mornings in prayer, praise and worship. You know, that's my favorite time, just praising God, singing to the top of my lungs, you know, and that really helps like to rejuvenate my soul. So, um, I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you guys have a great day. Um, remember, be kind to yourselves and know that no matter what you've done, where you're at, where wherever, God loves you. He loves you and he desires you in every part of you. So don't let shame lie to you. Don't let guilt lie to you or any of that and, try, and let that keep you from God because he loves you. So um, I'm going to close this in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you in the name of Jesus, God. And I just, I praise you, Father. I praise you for your goodness, for your love, for your relationship, um, that you would chase down that one, Father, that has strayed away, Lord, because you love us that much. God, I just glorify you, Father. I glorify you for making a way when there's no way. I glorify you for your love, your unconditional, unfailing love, Father, because you are just amazing, Father. We love you. Um, I give you all the glory, Father, and I just thank you. And I pray, Father, that anybody that is watching this, that you just bless them, Lord. Bless their life, any need that they have, any heaviness that they have. Father, you just uh, replace it with your light yoke, God. And um, I just pray that new doors open for them and that you show up in their life in a new way, Father. And if they're not feeling love right now, Lord, that you just fill every single part of their life with your unfailing love. I just pray that they, they feel you in a way that they've never felt, Lord. I just give you all the glory, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Take care.